Hey, welcome to my kitchen. Um, today I'm going to prepare a goose stew. You may have seen the video and a photo of myself in the swamp up here in Darwin. I was unlucky enough to get four geese on that trip. And in the foreground here, you'll see two of them. So what I've done, I skinned the bird and I have cut it down to, um, what's that? One, two, three, four cuts on the bird. I'll, get, I'll separate them four now from the one bird and give you a look. So what we've got here is the bird that I've broken down. So the wing and breast there, the thigh, and the leg, now yeah, the leg, I like to trim down because I make good um, treats for the dog. Same again, the other leg, trim down, thigh, best bits, I reckon. And the other breast, of course, and the wing attached to there. Same, same like the wing, which is attached to the breast here, as you, you know, same like a human. Um, I kept it as one. To start off with, it's just time saving um, in the bush when I first cut it up. So bring them home, bag them. I can fit um, two birds into a medium sized sandwich bag and they'll freeze well should you not cook it straight away, which I did with these ones. Um, yeah, because that the uh, previous video and photo were from last week. Now I've finished shift work, I can um, cook my fave. Alright, so what I plan to do, I've got some new butte cutters here. Now I'm going to break this down even more, um, just so everyone gets a good feed and a good taste of the goose. I'll be feeding four, probably six. Um, so what we're looking at, three adults, 17, 14, and the midget, I think he's seven these days, that's my nephew, and yeah, so, carry on, so that's the thigh and the leg, alright, with these cutters, they're pretty sharp and powerful, I'm going to fire in the joint in there, and just give it a quick snip, break the bone, break through the joint, or close to it. Bam, that's the bone sorted. As you can see there, I cut through the bone and I'll just leave that for now and get the other one. So there it is there, thigh, leg, a little bit of fat there, which is always good for you. Nanas love it. All right, same again. Find the joint and just snip through it. Good stuff. Double check that. Alright, there's that cut there, beauty, straight through the bone there. You can see a bit of marrow. Alright, now with the kitchen knife that I just sharpened a little bit before I started this, um, we're just going to separate that with a nice clean cut. So there you have it, that's the leg. So there's our drumstick. There, like that. Little bits of goodness hanging off it everywhere. Oh yeah. And then there's a the thigh. Now this here is my favourite bit for this reason. The bone runs through here, however, you have all this meat just hanging off it. Now I plan to slow cook this and everyone knows what a slow cook stew, what happens with the meat and bone separates, mouth watering stuff, doesn't matter what sort of meat you cook, but however, this is a bush tucker film and we're using the magpie goose if I didn't explain to you earlier sorry about that all right so I've done one leg drumstick thigh same again from the other one I cut um, there's there's a thigh nice fat coming off that and and there's that there that's the big thigh um, meat there well, I call it big because 
I'll show you the, um, the finished product later on and you'll understand what I'm talking about. All right, now, they're done. Let's put them aside. <clears throat> and I have the, the wing here, the wing here, and the breast, which I kept as one cut when I um, clean it up in the bush the other day. Alright, so what I plan to do is separate them, and that's pretty simple. With a straightforward cut, what I'm going to do is find the join just away from the bone on the breast on the breast side of the um, wing. So find it, separate it. You don't want to cut, wreck your mum's or Mrs. Good Knife anyway on bone. So feel with your non preferred hand. Feel, okay, no bone there, and just a straight cut. Bam. And that's your wing. So that's the the top half from, okay, let's call it the elbow on the wing, up to there, and that's that cut I just showed you. And now I just separate it. Took the upper arm off the um, off the breast. And there we have two more pieces. Um, that's it for that part. I'll leave it like that. Um, Again, it's got meat all over it. That's just off the side, the breast side. And should you be lucky enough to be served this later on, it's another treat. It's just awesome. Words can't explain unless you've tried it. All right, so I'll do the same for the second one. With that explanation, just go ahead and do it. Feel, feel, feel. Don't make wifey's kitchen knife. There it is, the wing up top and the breast. All right, so that's only one bird. So let's have a look at what we've got here now. Four cuts, two snips, one bird, and there you go. That there, my friends, is probably a good two-man feed, husband and wife, um, partners, housemates, whatever, or, you know, they can feed, yeah, three to four kids, easy. All right, looks good. Now, I'll try to set it up so you can see them all separate. There you go, looking good. Now, what I've done, um, before hand, I prepared some onion, garlic, and ginger. Now, I've used the jar ginger, um, a male, take shortcut. If I had time, um, you know, we'd use all the raw ingredients straight from the um, fresh produce section at your local shopping centre. And the garlic, I've got the crushed garlic, doesn't matter what brand you use, it's all the same as far as I'm concerned. But, what I was getting to is, I prepared onion and garlic. In the slow cooker I put it on high setting and I did chop up some garlic which you can see just under there just give it a bit of a mash so it can release the flavors and yeah that's just taken care of itself with a drizzle of oil not too much oil just a drizzle you can probably hear it now I got the television on in the background I was watching Hercules just before huge rock fan anyhow Let's go, put you back there. Leave the lid on there, so, um, as you know, slow cookers, heat up, conceal the heat, don't let it escape once all of this is prepped. I'm gonna move, back to the goose, the meat. I'm gonna move the bone bits, so the drumstick, the upper wing, and just put them back on the plate just here. I'm going to deal with the with the breast. Now, everyone does this differently. You watch family, aunties, uncles, chop this up differently. Um, for my mob, because I've been doing this for a few years, um, I'll just dice it in healthy, healthy chunks. So, this one here, I'll get one, two cuts along the length of the breast, and then chop, chop, chop. And I do do it by sight. There's there's no correct way or there's no right way. Um, everyone's different. 
everyone knows what sort of cuts or um, they know what they've been taught from their ancestors, eh? which has been passed on from generation to generation. So I'll do that first cut, bam, bam. So that's what I'm talking about. Three cuts, and if you have a look at that, you see the middle there, fresh meat, bros. Sister girls, aunties, uncles. All right, three strips, they're pretty thick. All right, they're pretty thick. So what I'm gonna do with that, this size again, probably three cuts, keep them nice healthy chunks because the meat will shrivel a little bit. So you want your um, the family to get a decent, a decent bite size, melt in your mouth type of um, cut, chunk of meat. There you go, one, two, three, that's just off one slice. Same again, with all, all of them. This one I'm gonna do, cut it into quarters, only because that was a bit longer, that was the middle cut. Same again, doesn't matter what angle you hold your knife out, hey, it's just a presentation thing. There you go, I'll give you a close up. That's the middle of the breast there, it's just, wanting to be eaten really. All right, same again on the second breast. Uh, doesn't, have, doesn't have to be pretty, all right? If you do it how you like, I'm gonna do this one into quarters. Um, just so, mix it up a bit. Yeah, that last cut is a bit thin, but hey, it's still good and it's still gonna be in the pot and eaten. One, two, so the third. I'll just quickly do these ones. Going on length and size, I'll um, quarter them, I'll cut them into thirds. This one's a nice one, so I'm going to do quarters. Alright, so let's have a look at that bloody bird now. Let's move that out of the way. Alright, so there's two breasts. Two wings, two drumsticks. Wait, you're not part of it. There, there, and there. Uh, where are we looking here? So, let me you get back on there because you're not meant to be in here. We got one, two drumsticks. two thighs and the breast. Now, remember that these were all connected at one stage from the original cut I did before I brought them home from the bush. Alright, let's have a look at that now. So, that's spread out a little bit more. Got the breast meat, diced, sliced and diced and then the wings and um, legs, beautiful. So with that, I've had the slow cooker on now for approximately, what, 10 minutes? After adding a drizzle of oil, not too much, um, a chopped onion quartered, and then I separated the layers, garlic, ginger. All right. Yeah, there's no um, correct way. Same again, just put it all in, because we're gonna give this a good stir once I get the Second use, um, prepared, put it in. All right, and it's always good to have everything at, um, in reaching distance, so. Don't do everything, really. use your hands. Give that, give it a stir. Oh, that's good, that's coming up nice as well. The smell already just from the garlic and onion and ginger. Bloody beautiful, Let's give it a bit of stir. So we're going to get that garlic and ginger just to be on that meat to start off with. Now, yeah. there you go. I'll give you a quick look. Come with me. There you go. So I've mixed it and can you see it? There, you can see the bits and pieces, garlic, ginger, um, onion and all that stuff. Just hugging that meat. Alright. I will edit this at some stage and cut it down. But it's something I've to learn. 
So, because this is my first video, I'm going to put, put the lid back on, contain the heat. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and do the, um, the second bird without any explanation, just to show you how quick it is to do. Alright. Thigh, drumstick, bone separated. Yeah. I wasn't going to explain, but anyway. Hit that bone, chop it in half, prepare it for a cut. Alright. Wing, breast, bind that place. Separate. Same again. Ooh, looks like I did the other one already. And then the other pieces. Now, you can see where I cut these before. Um, like I said, make an excellent treat for your dog. Bloody loves them. Alright, so drumsticks have been prepared already. Just by a simple cut off the breast. Separate that cut of the, um, sorry, that was, that was a wing off the breast. Separate the thigh and the drumstick. Just do it, I said, I was going to do. Separate a bit of cartilage here, let's get rid of that. I've got the bin close by, I've done this before, I made a mess. My wifey doesn't like this. Alright, separate the baby bits. Put the breast, nice. Bit on the small side. Alright, same like I did the first time. I cut this twice. And like anything else we do, whether it be with meat, fish, anything, sharpen these knives beforehand. Just makes the job easier. It's good stuff. My mouth watering here, just watching, looking at this beautiful breast meat. This is a favourite for most people, the breast side of things. Um, unfortunately, people out there go hunting, as I did, to get these ones, and only take the breast meat. But this way that I'm showing you now, um, you know, you really use everything. What I left behind in the bush was a carcass with very little left on it. Um, one, so I had my older brother and the old man, my stepfather, showed me how to do it back in the day. And I just kept, kept doing it that way. You can pluck these birds. But that's a different video. Right, so there's a, there's a rest here. What I'll do is chuck it in as I go. Because it's pretty much ready. That side of the bird's done. Cut into portions. Alright. If you ever do this, look for the thigh. Best bit. Alright. Right. Lid back on. And man, so that's heating up, that's cooking as we speak and a lot of juice will come off that you know, and the onion out of the um, goose itself but I'm going to add more just because the flavours remember those flavours that your mum, your nana, your aunties um, or you remember from them the taste now it took me a while and, and I um, experimented on this the last, oh, I don't know, can't even tell you how long, 10, 15 years, and I, I had to get it close without asking too many questions of the elders. I just experimented and then found that taste to match theirs well, close enough. Anyway, hang on, I'll just wash my hands. Look, I said, I'll oh, edit this fucker. I shouldn't have swore. Okay, I had the bin close by. So I'm not walking across the kitchen, dripping and making a mess on the floors because you're not going to be cleaning, you need the downtime. Alright, pantry. Let's get a bit of salt. Crack pepper. Now, when doing, when doing this, 
I don't measure, I don't measure um, too much because I've been doing it for a little while. I I um I do it for taste. Yeah, because like I said, like I've been I've been doing it for a little while. Um, measurements uh, to taste what I like, what the family likes, and you just do it just because you like those bloody flavours, really. Alright. Yeah. Actually, I'll just get it all out because you can add all this stuff to the Okay, I'll sharpen up this. Alright. So, I'll put that second side of the bird in. Put the second bird. Hello. The boss just walked in. The boss just walked in. I'm filming. Stir that second bird into the mix. Oh my god, it's so slow kicking. Kicking. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. I'm just filming. I'm not going anywhere. Who's there? No, no one. I'm just filming. Just oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, what time are you going then? What are you doing? <laughs> Alright, in that little pause, I go what I tend to put in to the mix. That's the what I'm gonna put in. So I've got a bit of ABC sauce, so I use that or oyster sauce, whatever's in the cupboard at the time. Sweet chili sometimes, not all the time, depending on um, my mood. Soy sauce, salt and pepper of course. You can say that. Rest of year, that'll do. Bit of barbecue, bit of tomato, and some homegrown chilies I got here. Just for extra flavour and stock, uh, French onion mix, doesn't matter what brand again, um, that's what I'll grab when I go shopping anyway. Simple, easy. Alright, the jug's just boiled, I'm gonna put this down. As you can see, mum's arrived in the meantime, inspecting. So I'm just gonna put close to, I'll put two cups, one cup for one bird, two cups for <laughs> two birds. Alright, alright, there you go. Into the measuring jug, let's have that down a little bit there. So, close to two cups. French onion stock. Mm, Ooh, priceless. Universal tool. Thanks to my brother. Thanks, Damien. Mm -hmm. Alright, and so. Now, like I said, it's good to have everything in arm's reach or prepared. Go through. Yeah. Yeah. Special comments for mum. Okay. Yeah. Shh. I'll put it in here. Okay. Alright. So there you go. French onion. Okay. Let's add it to anything. That's my two cups of the stock, which I'll just put in right now. Let's pour it in. Let's do that a bit better, but anyhow, that's what we're going to do now. Let's boost. Actually, I'll put it here. Okay, come take a look. Alright, that's how we're looking so far. I don't know how the lighting is, this is the first time. So, a bit of stock that didn't stir in, but I'll give that a good mix now. You can get back over there. You don't need instructions how to stir. So, be careful because that. This ceramic part of what is heating up. Alright, get it all in. Hijacking my video, man. Hmm? ABC. Alright, done with that. Over in the sink. Now, like I said, everything is just, just going to place. And I've been doing this for a little while, so nothing's measured. Alright, soy sauce, a bit of good. I didn't open this properly, so it's dribbling out. 
So this one, two, three, four. This one. Salty. Alright. You can say that. And chest this year. Oh, Not much left, so I'll probably use all of that. Yeah, you're looking for that happy way. Well, half of that actually, that was good. And what I go on is that. Bring it back over here again. Is this colour, colouring. Nothing's measured. I go on colour, it's good. Alright, put it back. Now, I do use our simple tomato, everyday stuff, barbecue and tomato sauce. Just adds that extra flavour. And as you can hear, I'm running out. Alright. Let's get plan B. There we go. Oh, cute. Same thing. Figure eight. Four laps of that. Now, I was going to add the sweet chilli sauce, but I'm going to give that a miss today because wife has managed to grow some chilli. I chopped it with the tree just yesterday. We'll get to that in a minute, so I'll put that aside. Don't need that anymore. Bit of pepper, cracked. Doesn't matter, cracked or powder. I like this because I like the sand. Very good. Nothing measured, like I said. And a little bit of salt, not too much because the soy sauce will take care of the saltiness. Alright, give that a good stir. Get that plate is nice for me. Alright, so this is already starting to change colour because I preheated the slow cooker on a high heat and to, to release the flavours of the ginger, garlic, and onion. Alright. Oh, that's looking good. Nearly there. Alright. Well, like I said, I'm not going to use the sweet chilli. I'm going to use... Oh, actually, I should do a taste test on these. First, I haven't used them yet. That's our first um, batch of chilies that made, made it this far into the kitchen. Alright. Give you a knife and rinse off between cutting meat and Veggies. I mean, it's all going to go into the same pot, but um, it just stuck with me. Someone said that to me um, a little while ago. I don't know if it was mum or wifey, but you know what? We just go with the flow. Now, I'm going to get cut the tip off and then get the second cut. So, what's that, about half a centimetre roughly? Probably too big. I'm not going to worry about taking the seeds out. I've got to taste it um, because I haven't used ours off our tree before. It smells a little bit strong. I don't know if I should do this. Anyway. Okay. Oh, not bad. Excuse me for a sec. Oh. I'll give that about a seven. Crikey. It's good to know what you're putting in there. Because like I've done, I'm just doing everything to taste. That's just going up to an eight. Fuck. I'm a chilli fan, but I had to taste it because I haven't used it before. It's good to know what you're putting in. So your mix. Right. Because I rate that to seven and a half, eight, I'm going to use one chilli. Um, how you cut it, it's up to you, but I'm just going to keep it civil and slice it across the little rings, only because you can see it when you're eating it later on when it's all ready. You can remove it if you want, but it's going to give it a bit of a spice because it's pretty hot. Now yeah, more and more who I'm cooking for, they don't mind the spice. So I will use the whole chili. You can remove it. 
should you see fit later on. Um, so this is new to my to my brew. Um, Mum won't probably eat it because it'd be too spicy. We'll get a few complaints, but you live and learn. All right, there's my there's my chili chopped with seed. Chuck it in. Good chili, actually, yeah. Well done, love. You did well. Stir that into the bowl. Good one. That looks good. Lid back on. Alright, now, put a slow cooker. Most of them, all well, the old school ones like I have, and I've had this for a long time, I was given to me by a mate and his wife over in um, Queensland. He was going to ditch it. I said, don't do that, brother. I'll take it. I'll use it. Um, basic settings. High, low. Because of the time frame. Um, I'm going to go high, because I've left my run a little bit late today. Um, so while that's cooking, I'm going to go out hunting again, see if I can get a few more birds. That, all you have to do now, that's it. That's it. Now it doesn't normally take this long. It's um, once you know what you're doing and you know your flavours and your taste. This is a longer video because I'm explaining it. I want everyone to enjoy this. Um, you can do this with any meat. Um, you eat, try it. Um, everyone likes to pluck the bird. Roast it, cook it whole after you clean up, gutting it and trimming it. When I say trimming it, you know, cut the excess bone off at the wings below the drumstick. It's good. However, um, I haven't plucked for a little while. This is my style. And you know what? My family loves it. Every now and then they'll screw their face up because I cook it way too often in the season. All right, so that's going to sit there. I'll give you another look. There you go, it's just doing its thing there. It, that's pretty hot. So don't go me inhaling it too much. You can see a lot of condensation on the lid. If you look closely, you can see some chili bits there. Um, have a quick smell. If you've got a good um, nose, you can you can predict the flavour. Now, what I, was, what I could tell at stand out is, is that the garlic is strong, but hey, garlic is good for you. And the, the, the sauces I put the barbecue, you know, that, that'll break down, water down, and just be absorbed by the meat. And that's it for now. You let it sit. Later on, oh yeah, yep. Yeah. Later on, I'll add the veggies. So I'll chop up some potatoes. Um, not too small, not like you're gonna mash them. Um, probably into quarters, depending on the size of the um, potato itself. Um, leave the skin on, give it a good wash, leave the skin on, chuck them in. Um, carrot, if you've got beans, chuck some beans in there. Um, but you do that with about an hour or so before serving, you can add um, broccoli or whatever veggie you like, that, yeah, exactly, what you like, what your family likes, okay? Because remember, this is home cooking. You do it to satisfy the people in your household. All right, that's done. I'm gonna let that sit there. What's the time here? 3.28. I'll say we'll be eating this at about seven, on a, placed on a high setting, all right? But in between now and then, me and the mother duck, we're gonna go out and try and shoot a few more. Hey, wife is at work, clean this mess up. She'll walk into the house, I won't be here, and smell that. Winner. All right then, see you in a bit.
tracks. I'll do this every time. Save the big cleanup at the end of the process. I'll leave my coffee out. My coffee after this. Alright, that's good. Fix up the utensils I used, chopping board and all that stuff. And I'll see you on the other side. There'll be another video coming, um, um, which I'll prepare pretty much straight after we hunt the bird, kill the bird, and then I'll show you how to strip the bird to get it to the earlier cuts I showed you um, when I started. Alright, peace out. See you later.